Hello guys, welcome back to the Live Gaming as always, and we're up to some jungle shenanigans with Kalari, so we are. So, um, by the time this video uploads, it'll already be paired alongside another one, but, um, yeah. Right, so we've got M2, which is basically the same deck, only with a mo small minor modification. We've got Jungle Lifesteal instead of Lifesteal. Right, so we're gonna grab that, and then we're gonna grab our Demolition Nest, because it's more of a, it's more of a consistent based idea towards it. Whereas uh, poised aggressor is good whenever you you need to engage, right? So obviously my team's been fucking narks, narks. Is narks even? I don't even know what fucking nark means. Congratulations! I was gonna be snarky. I was gonna say snarky bastards, but fuck it, right? So we've got red zone, shattered golem, sacred alchemy, heavy hitter, uh, Malix tribute, overclock droid, nitro boost, poised aggressor, dune winds, hellfire engine, profiteer, demolitionist, our gems are as follows, jungle assassin, ruthless duelist, critical hits, as well as jungle lifesteal and damage reduction. Now you'll all automatically wonder, well, everybody's seen, if, if you haven't seen my Chimera deck, it's more or less the same, only the difference is, is the first one's more, the like the Chimera one, if you've got sustain in jungle, you're going to be better off than what this one requires. Now, the ones that have sustain in jungle would be the likes of your, why is there a greystone a million? Okay, fuck it. Uh, the reason why, the reason to why, um, that is kind of the case, is because, uh, the first deck's more designed for Quang, Quang, Chimera, Rampage, all the ones that have sort of really nice sustain. This one would be more towards Crunch, Kalari, people who do, don't have as much sustain in jungle. And that there's sort of the way that, well, I'm working it. It is quite interesting to see how it actually does affect each deck, so it is because Whenever you don't have that kind of lifesteal, you're kind of already buggered. So you are. But um, working with Kalari, I I do need to improve. Oh right, Fortnite and uh, Fortnite's updated. I do need to improve my gameplay with Kalari because I I'll be honest, I'm a I'm a tad bit in the sloppy side whenever it comes to being Kalari, which is a damn shame because normally I'm very good at being Kalari. Normally. I do say normally because I don't know what it is. It's I do find it rather difficult sometimes to be Clory because Clory is a fucking high skill cap character. I'm sorry, but she is a really high skill cap character. You have to know what you're doing when you're doing it, and that there's well, prime the primary fucking being of Clory's existence nine times out of ten. So it is is Clory has little. Like, she is designed as an assassin. Now, you see this sacrificial Clary bullshit? It's fucking hilarious. And Aurora runs... A, a... Nicely done. Still gonna die, though. I don't care. I, I got the assist, like, so I ain't gonna argue. Now, I'm gonna steal that there, because that there's... More or less, more sustained, and I kind of need to be sort of on point with this. But seriously, why is there a greystone in mid lane? Like seriously, I'm kinda, this kind of confuses me to no end. So it does, kind of confuses me to no end. But we'll see how it goes. I'm very curious to see how it will go in the in the in the end up. So um, because. I tested this in Chimera, and it did take me a while, but I've now figured out the rhythm. The way that you have to work it to get what you need. Dune Wins being the... The biggie, the big fucking... The biggie. Because having Dune Wins is... It's pretty damn good. Aurora needs to be careful. So she does, because Revenant is... Revenant's not nice. Revenant is possibly one of the more powerful characters in the game. Now I say that lightly because whenever he's built right and he's on a good and he's somebody who knows how to be him, it does get raw fucking deviant to try and put the cunt down. Right, I need to patient. I actually just need to wait this out because I need to make sure that Aurora is going to make the uh, is going to try and do something that is 
half sensible. Greystone is going to be a nightmare because Greystone is just Greystone. So he is Greystone. You, you're kind. You're kind of at a, at a bit of a disadvantage whenever you're against a Greystone, right? But I'm gonna pick up Green Shield, and then we are going to see who we can gank with it. Uh, there's a handful of people we could succeed in ganking, but it's choosing who we do gank is the choice what we have to make. Is my issue right? So Revenant's retreated, so that makes Revenant kind of the no go here. Grim is hovering. So he is. <sighs> Fine. Grim it is. Yeah, I know it's targeting me, but I've got enough health regen. Ho! Greystone nearly just. Ever so slightly fucks up. Ever so slightly fucks up. But I need I need to be careful because Clory's not a tanky character by any stretch of the fucking imagination. The only thing that Clory has to adv be an advantage is basically the fact that she is elusive as fuck. That's the one thing that grants Clory a solid advantage is the fact of her elusiveness. But it's trying to be able to build upon that there. Her elusiveness and her her capability of being a massive burst damage hero is like with her attack speed is just phenomenal. There, everybody knows that there. But it's trying to keep yourself above everybody else by being smart with what you do. Like Clary is more brains and tactics than it is brute force. Chimera is brute force. Rampage brute force. A lot of the heroes are designed with brute force in mind. So I'm kind of trying to differentiate how that works. Then again, I'm a wingnut that fucking runs um, very un... Not so much unrealistic builds, but very sort of... What the fuck are you doing builds? Is my sort of forte, because I want to try... I'm going to be trying to crunch at some stage, seeing if that there works. But it does seem to be that... They are oddly tanky, like, they have an oddly tank-based team. Like, there's four tanks, no, three tanks in their team. So there is, as well as, there's three tanks plus two carries. Well, carry slash caster. Yes, I know, I'm going to move in now, Jesus. Right, let's max out that. Aurora, you just need to be fucking ready whenever I go to move in. If you can land your cryosism, we're going to be happy days. I just need you to play play smart. That works. So it does. That worked pretty fucking well. I'm actually quite surprised at that. So um, and then I have my ult. So if I do need if I do need a jump ship, I can jump ship, which is fucking fantastic. So it is. Clary is one of those heroes that you have to be very mindful of because <coughs> if it's a good Clary, you're going to run into issues. If it is, if it's a Clary that knows what she's doing, you're going to run into issues. I have like I have to play a little bit more. A little bit more sort of relaxed with Clary because. I'm not the best Kalari player, so I'm not far from it. I'm not the best Kalari player by any stretch of the imagination. Max out that. Right, right that's two points into there. Grab an point into there. Needing to do what needs to be done is quite difficult. You're not going to take it, so I'll take it. It's just... Kalari uh, is used for capitalization. If somebody mucks up and can't secure a kill, Kalari secures the kill. That's the way Kalari is designed. She is the one that is designed to secure, secure shit. So she is... Mind you, every time I've tried to secure anything that is remotely beneficial to me, ends up fucking up. 
Right, now we save up for our um, Sacred Alchemy, which is going to be a fantastic help. And then, or not our Sacred Alchemy, we save up for our Dune Winds, because that's going to be, a, uh, that will be a, an amazing help at this moment in time, because we've got our four points in, which is pretty damn fucking good, right? Now, technically, I could go back and get two very powerful cards. So I could. Or is it one very powerful card? I can't remember exactly because I, 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 all I know is I have the base print for Sacred Alchemy, which is good, especially on a Kalari. Sacred Alchemy just works. But then again, Sacred Alchemy will work on 90% of any physical based hero. Physical, be yeah, basically. Now, I am fucking shivering. Fuck me. Right, so. My main issues right now will be, my main problems are, primarily Revenant will be a biggie, Revenant is a biggie, let me see what Aurora's running, Aurora's running, okay, right, it just depends on who's running what, because depending on who's running what, yeah, Revenant, let me see what Revenant's on, Guard Piercer, and... Thing. I don't know if he's running Chaos is the thing. That's the interesting part. If he's running Chaos, that's going to be interesting. If he isn't running Chaos, well... That's just going to be fucked. Please be fucking careful. Oh, where is he? Gotcha, bitch. See, playing patient is more or less the end all me all of the game. Patience and aggression, as long as you can keep them on their back heel, keep your push up, and basically just play offensive. But the problem is, a lot of people tend to get too offensive, as well I've stated in the video that's coming out alongside this one. We got so very harshly pushed back, but it was the fact that we were able to counter push to the max. And that counter push allowed us to really like amp up the fight. It's it gets really weird how well it works. It's just the counter pushing is well immense. Are you fucking serious? How did I miss that? Oh, I missed. I'm a fucking nump. And Rampage is done fucked up. Rampage done fucked up. So he did. Rampage done fucked up. So now we've got Sacred Alchemy and Dune Winds. We're basically like Dune Winds is a good card, regardless to what way you try and spin it. Like I've, I, I was skeptical at, at first. With Dune Winds, especially since the nerf, because Dune Winds is one of those cards that's just like, mmm, mmm, do I do it? Or do I not do it? You know, it's one of those it's one of those cards, it's high risk, high reward. And as of recently, I fuck it. See since Chimera. Oh my god, do I love this deck. So they just the combination of Dune Winds and Sacred Alchemy is absolutely insane. So it is. And that is what I'm trying to get. Like, I wanna see can every hero capitalize on the build that I have designed? Well, not I have designed. It's more of a theory craft. <laughs> I'm fucking. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know how. Like, I want to see how well this deck sort of contributes to the overarching holy fuck factor of what I can do. Because I know I've got I've got damage. I've got I've got damage for days. Like, but I want to see if it's. Properly capitalizable on. Gotcha, bitch. And it appears to be mostly. Yeah. I think there's a revenant floating by. There is a re there was a revenant floating by. There's rampage. Ho ho ho! The Dukes. As soon as I seen rampage, I knew exactly what he was aiming for. As soon as I seen Rampage, I knew what he was going for. Right, so we're going to get... Right, we've got the four points, right? So we're going to be able to build up 
There are, right, there's an attack Fangtooth, which I will agree. Um, Cap, I like in solo Fangtooth now with the Sacred Alchemy, but it's we're going to make our way up to Malak's Tribute. The reason why we're grabbing Malak's Tribute is basically it comes with 15 power, and it also it's four points into Vitality as well, which you can't really deny is good, especially considering we're running Dune Winds. We're going to be short on health, so we are. It's quite simply the way it works. We're, we're going to be short on health. So we are. And um, we're going to try our best here to see what we can get done. Now, I have a fair, I have a fair reasoning to think that one of them is going to probably try and interfere. Rampage. Aurora pops her ult. So she does. Wow. Having Sacred Alchemy handy is pretty damn good though. Oh, thank you! Fucking stealing my shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> eh, it's okay. At the end of the day, we got the job done. And as long as the job gets done, I ain't gonna argue. See, Steel's gonna be on a really quick fucking respawn time, which is gonna annoy the fuck out of me because he's on a low level. And Steel, just in general, annoys the fuck out of me. Right. Well, Rampage is currently gonzoed, but uh, his green buff's gone because I think I'm actually thinking Revenant stole it, give or take. So yeah, doesn't stop me from stealing like, uh, some of the um, Rampage's farm though. Hey, look, it's Revenant. <sighs> so so far, so actually quite decent. I'm gonna steal that there before somebody, one of theirs steal it because if they get purple buff, fucking hell, purple buff is the bane of existence for most people and the fact that there's a card that allows you to go invis is even fucking worse. Right, but we can go pick up an R card that gives us, I think it's 15 power? I think. Which is gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be a helpful bonus. But I do know at the end of it all for our red zone we're gonna need four points in the remaining, well we've got four points into those two. But we're gonna need four points into um, vital, and all four points into vitality, which just tanks us up that little bit, uh, that little bit more, which is pretty fucking good. And then we're also gonna have thing. Uh, well, that's four points. Four points. I'm gonna need all four points. I need up to twelve vitality. So I do. Well, Vitality, and then we should be more or less solid for a good win. Well, not so much a good win, just a solid sort of snowball at that point. But the reason why I'm going... First of all, the reason why I'm going into Vitality is because I'm, I do have Dune Winds equipped. And Dune Winds is going to, well... That gives me 290 health. I did not know that. I need to pay attention to my cards more. Right, let's dunk an upset in there, and that is that. So we're now nice. We're actually quite powerful now. Thanks to Dunewind's Sacred Alchemy. There's not much that can take us in a direct fight. I can't I can't interfere in that. I cannot interfere in that. That will that will straight out kill me. On the other hand, having a bit of backup here might help. If I'm smart. Yeah, kid, I have no issue taking you on. <sighs> There's not much more can be said at this point, bar the fact that, oh well, holy fuck. <laughs> That's like, 
there's not much that I can say that is going to make any, any difference at this point. Sacred Alchemy Dune Wins is just the OP combo. So it is, it's just, it's the most broken combo. But, like, it's not, like, high risk builds, right, are not meta. There's a reason why high risk builds. I'm 35 seconds off. Fucking hell. Right. But, um,. High risk builds are not meta. I can perfectly understand. I, that's ability armor, so I am going to dump an extra point into that because it's actually it's ability armor. I can't really argue with that there, especially with a lot of their team being somewhat. I'm presuming Grim's running. No, Grim's actually running carry. He's actually running a carry deck. <clears throat> Revenant is right now my only problem. Because Revenant, once he get like the only thing he needs is Deathcrawler. Once he gets Deathcrawler, it's literally ripped to your face. Now yeah, four points into here, and then we should be golden. Hopefully, I do say hopefully. See, I can solo majority of their team is the best crack of it. That's what makes me somewhat of a force to be reckoned with is the fact that I can solo their team. Well, not solo their team. I can solo the majority of any enemy that comes near me. Wow, he actually managed to get it. Committed suicide at the same time, like, but... See, I'm trying to think here. Is a death for it enough? Is it enough to justify it? Like, having Sparrow in there as well is just going to... That's an immediate rip. So it is that is an immediate rip. Right, let me see. I know we need going a couple of points into this. So we do and then we can start working on our Wow, okay, Revenant's kinda OP at the minute. That doesn't honestly surprise me due to the fact that Revenant is very a very powerful hero in general. Which just, he can just jump out at you and you're fucked. And if he does succeed in jumping at you, at you, again, you're fucked. But our team has been pushing successfully, so that's not bad. Because the only way they're going to catch me is if I'm in a bit of a shitty position. So they are. Careful mid lane. Because as of right now, I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm pretty confident in what what I can do here. I did say careful. I did say careful. Revenant was going to uh, continue pushing, but decided against it for good reason. Fuck you, Rampage. Yeah, I'm going to be a dick. <laughs> I'm happy enough to be a dick. But if Aurora can land her ult. Come on, Aurora. Could you not have ulted him? See, small overextensions I got there, even though they did succeed in taking a tier 1. Small overextensions can cost you a lot. And a lot of people don't understand the concept of, oh, well, I overextended. Ah, it'll be my fault. A lot of people don't actually understand that concept. But, uh huh. Right. Uh, let me see what my current health. Right, so we've used two procs. So the next one's going to rip off 600 fucking health. That is. That's a lot of health to be losing, especially as a Clary. But with the amount of shields that we have, we actually. We should be more than substantially powerful enough. Now that the thought hits. We're building into our red zone now. And hopefully we'll be able to capitalise. Hopefully grabbing red zone. Because if we do. Well that's just a straight up power boost. So it is. And I've got no I, I've got no forms of severe heavy CC. So any bonuses that anybody else was after. Is not going to happen. But they're going to focus down on mid lane. Because um, well they got pushed. 
We need to speed this up, fucking toot sweet people. Aurora popped her ult. Greystone's being a bitch. I can deal with Greystone though. See, this is the thing. Getting greedy for kills doesn't work. Does not work in the slightest. Because if you get greedy for kills, yes, okay, Aurora is a prime fucking target. If Aurora, if Aurora, if purely down to Aurora's ult makes her the perfect target for a fucking kill, because she is, she is a high priority target. So she is, because she is so dangerous. Kalari is a priority target, but the reason why she's hard to lock down is because unless you know what you're doing against her, like how you, how you're going to specifically counter her, it's very difficult to get the job done. So it is, and then whenever you're up against the likes of Grim, well, Grim just gets fucked. And that there's the thing is, a lot of people don't know how to deal with certain heroes because, particularly whenever it came to crunch, a lot of people didn't know how, does not know how to deal with a good crunch. A lot of people don't know. It's very difficult to deal with a good crunch because if he's a, if it's a good crunch, you're gonna be fucked either way, regardless of what way you spin it. Whereas whenever it comes to a good calorie, fear is key because you need to know that she's going to be lurking around every fucking corner. She's going to be in vis and you. She is going to take down any prime prime parts that she is going to need. She is an absolute monster at the end of the day. And being able to counter her is not an easy task. Far from an easy task. With her ability to be able to ult all over the map, it's the same as Murdoch. See if somebody has a good see if somebody's good with Murdoch and he's good with that snipe. Again, not a good position to be in because he has that kind of with that ult, because it completely ignores ability armor, there's not really much that can do. Or Sparrow is ripping through them like a hot knife through butter. Because Sparrow is actually playing fucking smart. She's actually got Sacred Alchemy as well. Which is remarkable. But we're going to go pick up our fucking um, red zone now. So we are because, well, red zone. Who doesn't run red zone on a Kalari? Most Kalaris are normally run with fucking Deathcrawler. I just... I, lo I, do, I do like the card. I do like the card in Kalari, but... I just think there's better uses of her abilities. Like, she has the most perfect kit. Kalari has the perfect kit. So she does. But being able to make her a pain in everybody's ass is literally just my job. Alright, that's us more or less max build here, so it is. Um, I'm going to go into our agility. If we get any higher, then fucking happy days, like, but... As of right now, there's... I would like it if my fucking lighter would work, you know? Hang on. Drop one, grab another. And what gives us even more of an advantage is... Red zone increases my damage. If red zone increases my damage, everything goes out the window. Because I'm already hitting hard enough as it is. With Dune Winds, I'm hitting even harder. And we still... How do we still have that fucking tower? Fuck only those. All I know is we have the ability to completely delete anybody that gets in our way. And if we are able to get up to the rest of our mana... Our mana? Fuck me. If we are able to get up to the rest of our... Well, abilities. Then... Like, once I get Duelist... Head-to-head -head fights... Is going to be brilliant. I accidentally propped that. That was an accident. See, my greatest ability is being able to take out key, key targets. That's my greatest ability. Ripping them apart key targets. Wow, that is a hell of a boost. Like, there's me in an epic. 
And it's because they can't stop me. I'm hitting hard enough. Like, look, look at my shield. There's nothing that can stop me. And I still, do we still have Primal active? We do. Like, my ability, like, my, da my damage output is retarded. So, yeah. Works pretty fucking well in Kalari anyway. Works really fucking well. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed my fucking carnage look. Uh, there's one more called the deck. It's now carnage. Right, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.